who it is. <laughs> I was wondering when you'd show up. Not that I'm a stalker or anything. But I totally saw you heading my way. So, <laughs> what's on your mind? You miss me? Like there was any doubt. I knew it wouldn't be long once I got the signal boosted. Right to the point, huh? That group you're talking about is run by this gal named Meg. I saw him head in about the same time as those other folks at Spruce Knob. If you want to talk to Meg, you gotta get on her good side. And I'm pretty sure I can swing it. I thought you'd never ask. First, a peace offering. David had a trophy as a symbol of his leadership. You get that into Meg's hands, it's like passing the torch, right? Next, I'm gonna draw her ass out here with an extra special broadcast. Problem is, I need to access some old memory banks that David sealed off. He was an emotional guy. I get it. But I need you to find his original program. Which, I'm pretty sure he stashed at Rosalind's memorial. Yeah, about that. David sort of didn't want anyone to know about the memorial. He thought the others would think he'd gone soft, and well, he probably wasn't wrong. So, hope you like playing detective. You gotta get to David's room, get the trophy, and then find something that'll tell you where that memorial is. I ain't saying you'll have to trash the place, but you may have to trash the place. Easy peasy, right? Ha! I knew I could count on you! And I swear, this will work. The shack alone will have Meg come looking around.
David's trophy? Pretty cool, right? Once Meg sees that, she's gonna know you mean business. She may have been a diehard, but they all started under David. Every single one of them. Even the Gourmands would have killed for that trophy. Us cutthroats had all the power and they knew it. And that trophy was the biggest symbol of them all. Nice to see it still in one piece. Hope we can say the same for Rosalind's memorial in that AI program.
And that memorial ain't too shabby, especially since it's David we're talking about here. So now, you'll have to repair that cover tape, and there's only one place I can think of that you still have a functioning terminal to do it. It's out at Solomon's Pond. I know, I know, you're thinking, what's tech like that doing out at such a cutesy little wilderness place? Let's just say some seriously intensive operations went down there, so I'm pretty sure it's got just what we need.
when I was starting to get bored, too. Hope you managed to repair that old holotape. Ugh, they were into each other. David was never able to recover her body, so he made the memorial in secret. Didn't really want the others to see him all soft like that. <laughs> Who knows? Like I said, that guy was sensitive. Not everyone needs a constant reminder of their baggage. First off, it's a whole lot of crap on David and Rosalind. I'm thinking it's like action-adventure meets romantic comedy, but not a good romantic comedy, you know? The kind that makes you want to puke. Second, it's the code I need to unlock some sealed-off memory banks that David didn't want me to access, but couldn't bring himself to delete. As usual, so reliable. I love it. I gotta admit, I've got some pretty mixed feelings on tapping into all these blocked files. On one hand, I'm sure David had his reasons for cutting me off. On the other, I'm pretty sure this would be a whole new world of entertainment for me. opera on overdrive. You know, boring stuff that no one cares about. David was an interesting guy. He loved his wife and kids as much as he loved Rosalind, so losing them in the war wasn't easy. Rosalind helped him through that, so when he lost her, that was just about the end of the world for him. Creating a yours truly, of course. <laughs> oh, and blowing the shit out of the Summersville Dam. <laughs> Who doesn't love some good old fashioned revenge, right? Obviously, he talked about it with me. Silly. He just didn't want me to remember, so blocked off all those memories. That's why I needed that program to access those sealed off conversations. right along. Okay, now where was I? Oh yeah, the plan. Let me just run some filters, a little artsy crafts, and... Are you kidding me? All this data and I don't have the one word I was looking for? Ugh, okay, hate to break it to you, but I need you to go back out there and find me just one more itty teeny weedy hollow tape. Best bet is Arctos Pharma, David's old corporate stooge job. I need you to find me a holotape with David saying the word negotiate. Just using my amazing skills to put together a little broadcast for Meg with David's voice. If she thinks there's even a chance that David's still alive, I guarantee she'll come running. Not because she likes him or anything. Ugh, gross. But if David pulled through and she bailed, she knows he'll be out for her. My hero. Now get out there and don't get yourself killed. Did I just say that? <laughs> it makes me feel like a mom.
I need those reports by three today. Are you ready for the meeting? Nervous as hell, but ready as I'll ever be. I'll be nervous, but if you could do it, you wouldn't be going. That's oddly reassuring. Take it as a compliment. You've got the business sense and legal background to have my job if you wanted it. I'd even venture to guess you're recording this very conversation. I will neither confirm nor deny that. <laughs> And that is why I have every reason to believe you'll be running this company someday. You're gonna do fine today. See you in an hour. See you there. Damn. He's good. He'll never incriminate himself. This may take a while. All right there. I did. A note to self, book tickets to Pleasant Valley, also book to DC in case Rita bothers to check up on me. Oh yeah, and tell Rita to fire that cook, what's her name, because she completely ignored my expressed distaste of pickles. Pretty sure she does it on purpose at this point. All right, folks, these terms are ridiculous. Absurd, even. I'm not signing until we see at least 80% profit. These terms are perfectly reasonable. Since when are environmental laws and fair wages ridiculous and absurd? Since they take away 30% of the profits, we're set to gain, Lawrence. You can talk to me about fair wages when you give up your bonus. Come on, David. We need to wrap up this deal. The partners are getting impatient. There has to be room for negotiation here. I'll be the one who says when it's time to negotiate here. Our partners are only impatient. 
more than us. I just hope we don't realize it. Now go back to your desk, and figure out how to get me that 80%, or I'll find someone else who can. Leadership skills, charisma. David was a full package, really. Not to mention just a whole lot of tall, dark, and handsome. I think it did him some good to finally blow off some real steam. You know how corporations and their HR are big fans of murder. Ooh, I gotta admit, I don't have many files on David and Rosalind talking about their pre-Raider days, so this will be pretty interesting. I'll just give it a quick listen. Yep, sounds like David all right. <sighs> Ruthless even then. Getting back to business, a little slice and dice, some audio love, and voila! Mission accomplished. All you gotta do now is take a quick trip to the nearby relay tower and set up a new transmitter to get this bad boy broadcasted. It's so easy, a child could do it. Here's the program you'll need to run at the relay tower. Just load it up and follow directions. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than this, really. And here, as a token of my gratitude, you can have this old holotape back as a souvenir. <laughs> 